In the ancient lands of Mesopotamia, a powerful king ruled with an iron fist. His name was Namrud, and his reign was marked by grand constructions and immense power. But Namrud was not just any king. He believed himself to be a god, demanding worship from his subjects. His arrogance knew no bounds, and he challenged the very essence of divine authority. But one man stood against him, the prophet Ibrahim. Ibrahim's unwavering faith in Allah set the stage for a dramatic confrontation. Namrud, confident in his own power sought to prove his divinity in a series of bold and blasphemous acts. He believed he could control life and death, and his tyranny spread fear throughout his kingdom. King Namrud, also known as Nimrod, is a prominent character in various religious texts, including the Quran and the Bible. His story is not just a tale of a ruler, but a lesson in humility and the consequences of arrogance. Namrud ruled over a vast kingdom, believed to be in ancient Mesopotamia, which is modern-day Iraq. He was known for his incredible strength and his ability to command his people with an iron fist. His reign was marked by grand constructions and significant advancements, but also by his oppressive and tyrannical rule. One of the most notable aspects of Namrud's story is his challenge to Allah. Namrud considered himself a god and demanded that his subjects worship him. His arrogance reached its peak when he claimed that he had the power to give life and death. This led to a direct confrontation with the prophet Ibrahim. Abraham who was a devout follower of Allah. Despite his earthly power, Namrud's challenge to Allah led to his downfall. According to the story, Allah sent a tiny creature, a mosquito, to defeat the mighty king, showing that no matter how powerful one might be, they are still vulnerable to the will of the divine. In religious texts, Namrud is often portrayed as a tyrant. He was known for his oppressive rule and his demand that his subjects worship him as a god. This arrogance and self-deification are central themes in his story. Namrud's belief in his own divinity led him to challenge Allah, claiming that he had the power to give life and death. This challenge is a key event in his narrative, highlighting his extreme pride and hubris. One of the most famous stories about Namrud involves his confrontation with the prophet Ibrahim. In a famous encounter, Ibrahim demonstrated the power of Allah by surviving a fire that Namrud had ordered to be set. This event is seen as a testament to the power of faith and the futility of human human arrogance. His kingdom was one of the most powerful and influential of its time. It was marked by grand architectural achievements and significant advancements in various fields. The cities were well planned, with impressive buildings, temples and palaces. These structures showcased the wealth and power of Namrud's reign. The kingdom was also known for its strong military, which helped Namrud maintain control over his vast territories and suppress any opposition. Namrud's rise to power was characterized by his ambition and strategic acumen. He was a skilled leader who knew how to consolidate power and expand his influence. Through a combination of military conquests and political alliances, Namrud was able to establish himself as a dominant ruler in the region. His ability to command respect and instill fear in his subjects further solidified his position. One of the key aspects of Namrud's rule was his claim to divinity. He declared himself a god and demanded that his people worship him. This was a common practice among ancient rulers who sought to legitimize their authority by associating themselves with divine power. His claim to divinity was not just a display of arrogance, but also a strategic move to strengthen his control over his subjects. Under his rule, the kingdom saw significant economic growth. The fertile land of Mesopotamia allowed for prosperous agriculture, which was the backbone of the economy. Trade also flourished, with goods being exchanged with neighboring regions. This economic prosperity contributed to the overall strength and stability of Namrud's kingdom. Firstly, Namrud's military prowess was unmatched. He commanded a large and well-equipped army that he used to expand his territory and maintain control over his vast kingdom. His military campaigns were often brutal, and he showed no mercy to those who opposed him. This made him a formidable force in the region, and neighboring kingdoms were wary of provoking his wrath. Namrud's ability to maintain strict control over his subjects also contributed to his fearsome reputation. He ruled with an iron fist, implementing harsh laws and severe punishments for those who disobeyed him. Public executions and other forms of punishment were commons, serving as a stark reminder
reminder of his absolute authority. This created an atmosphere of fear and submission among his people, ensuring that few dared to challenge his rule. King Namrud's reign is often remembered for his tyrannical actions and oppressive policies. These actions not only showcased his absolute power, but also instilled fear and suffering among his people. Namrud's harsh laws and severe punishments were another, were another hallmark of his tyranny. He implemented strict regulations and did not tolerate any form of dissent. Public executions, torture, and other forms of punishment were common. These actions served as a stark reminder of his absolute authority and created a climate of fear among his subjects. People were afraid to speak out or resist his rule, knowing that any disobedience could result in severe consequences. In the Bible, Nimrod is mentioned in the Book of Genesis and the Books of Chronicles. Genesis describes Nimrod as a mighty hunter before the Lord and a powerful king whose kingdom included notable cities like Babylon, Erech, Akkadah, and Kalne in the land of Shinar. Although the Bible does not provide extensive details about his tyranny, it does suggest that he was a formidable and influential ruler. Jewish and Christian traditions often associate Nimrod with the construction of the Tower of Babel. According to these traditions, Nimrod led the people in building the tower as a way to challenge God's authority. This act of rebellion is seen as a symbol of human arrogance and defiance against divine power. The story of the Tower of Babel, found in Genesis, illustrates the consequences of this defiance as God confounded the language of the people and scattered them across the earth. The historian Flavius Josephus, in his work Antiquities of the Jews, also mentions Nimrod. Josephus describes Nimrod as a tyrant who turned people away from the fear of God and established a despotic rule. He attributes the construction of the Tower of Babel to Nimrod, emphasizing his role in leading the people to rebel against God. The prophet Ibrahim played a crucial role in the events leading to Namrud's challenge. Ibrahim was a devout follower of Allah and openly opposed Namrud's claims of divinity. He preached the message of monotheism, urging people to worship Allah alone. This defiance angered Namrud, who saw Ibrahim as a direct threat to his rule. One of the pivotal events was the debate between Namrud and Ibrahim. Namrud summoned Ibrahim to his court, intending to demonstrate his supposed power. During this encounter, Namrud boasted that he had the power to give of life and death. To prove his point, he ordered two prisoners to be brought before him. He commanded that one be executed and the other be spared, claiming this act as evidence of his divine power. Ibrahim, however, was not intimidated. He responded by saying that Allah has the ultimate power over life and death. To demonstrate Allah's power, Ibrahim challenged Namrud to make the sun rise from the west instead of the east. This was something beyond human capability and highlighted the limits of Namrud's power. Unable to respond to this challenge, Namrud was left humiliated. Despite this, Namrud's arrogance persisted. He ordered Ibrahim to be thrown into a blazing fire, hoping to eliminate him and his message. However, Allah protected Ibrahim, and he emerged from the fire unharmed. This miraculous event further demonstrated the power of Allah and the futility of Namrud's defiance. As we reach the end of King Namrud's tale, the tension builds. This powerful ruler, who once declared himself a god, faced a challenge that would test his very core. His confrontation with the prophet Ibrahim had already shaken his confidence. But the true test of his arrogance was yet to come. Namrud's belief in his own invincibility was about to be shattered. The mighty king, feared by all, would soon encounter a force that so amount of power or wealth could overcome. How could a tiny creature bring down such a formidable ruler?